okay, so now we're going to put this aftermarket servo in our C6 here. It's a Fairbanks C6R Super Servo. I guess it's supposed to mimic the famous uh, factory R code servo, which was in behind uh, Cobra Jet cars, stuff like that. Performance servo for C6. But this is an aftermarket with a new cover, piston, and a spring. And you get all that, and there are three seals. You have a squared seal, or straight cut seal as they call it. As you see right here, it goes on the servo cover as I'm showing here. Take the spring off, and here's your pistons. The green round seal, the O-ring seal as they call it, goes right here, which I've done. And... You have a lip seal, and they're showing the that taper right there facing that away. So we got that in there right. So we're going to go ahead and put this in the transmission, and I'll show you. It's pretty easy, and I'll show you how that goes. But first of all, I think I'm going to go ahead get some fluid over here, lube that up a little bit. I think I'll even just dip that in there. And let's see if I can do this one-handed. It's a lip seal, so can't really push it straight in. I did it a minute ago for practice so that I could do it on video, but as you can see, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and mount my camera up on the shelf. Alright, go ahead and stick the spring in first. And I think we should put, like I said earlier, we need to work that lip seal in to the cover. Maybe it'll work out this way. First, there it goes. Went in just, just like that. And got to make sure we get our gasket on right. Now I think, so you got that. Okay. That part of the gasket. Should go there, but I believe. Let's see. Yeah, that goes on just like that. See the hole in the gasket there? <clears throat> Should line up with that hole there. Make sure the surface is clean, and I believe it is. Yeah. Thought I felt seen a little something there, but it's nothing. So hopefully, I'm gonna work that in. force it too much. I've already lubed it up too, so in case you think I'm trying to put it in there dry and rip in the seal. And I think we're trying to get this O-ring to go into the actual door. pressure wouldn't let me push it in, draw it down with the bolts. I'm not going to torque it just yet. I'll probably clean those bolts off better after it's all done. I want to make sure everything's the way it should be. And you're supposed to torque these down to 120 inch pounds. For now, we're just snugging them. I will go back and torque them. Promise. Yeah. Okay, put 
feel that in there. Should be able to actuate that. see it or not. It's that passage right there and you gotta kinda block off all that. Make somewhat of a seal. It's clappers in the way, I bet you can now. Okay, as you can see, I got the rest of the insides in the transmission, and I just want to finish up the actual, just, just the servo installation in this video. And we got the band in already, as you can see. And we got three more pieces to put in. This piece just goes right here. Got that arm that go, hits the servo, where the servo hits it. And we got our adjustment screw and lock nut right here. Started it by a couple of threads. Put that in there. Then that radius goes into the hole on that piece. Screw it all the way in by hand. So you snug your band. And now I'm going to show you how to adjust the band. I covered this on my last transmission, but we'll do it again just because this video is on just the servo. Now you tighten this up with the lock nut. See that lock nut right there? It's not against the transmission case. You don't want it there yet until you got it adjusted. And we take this 3 8 12 point, we'll fit on that four sided adjustment screw and we tighten it to 120 inch pounds or 10 foot pounds. This is an inch pound wrench so we're set at 120. Tighten it till it clicks. Right there, and we back it off one turn and a half. And now that it's torqued down to 120 inch pounds, I just got a regular ratchet, and I'm going to back it off one turn and a half. So, you can see what I'm doing here. Turn it that way. And I'm going to go one full turn and a half. And that should be it. And we should be able to take an air hose, check again, make sure that it's applying the band. See that? Oops. Gotta move my camera again. Not exactly an airtight seal for my air, but as you can see, it's applying the And releasing. And then I never torque. And that's something else. You got to make sure when you turn this lock nut in, make sure you don't turn the adjustment screw like I just did. So I'm going to readjust that. And actually with a new band it probably doesn't hurt to do this twice because you kind of stretch the band a little bit 
because it's going to stretch under use anyway. I'm going to back off, turn the half again. One and a half. Now, this time, so that I don't move this thing, I'm going to pick a pair of vice grips and hold on to it while I tighten the lock nut. That way, I know I don't move my adjustment screw. It's kind of a good thing that happened because it's something, if you've never done this before, especially if the transmission is in the car, you're not really sure, you won't be really sure if it did that or not. And I forgot what size that nut is. 13 sixteenths. That's what it is. And they, they claim then the manual will tell you to tighten this to like 40 inch pounds, but I just make sure it's good and tight by hand. And check it out one more time. That should work. Alright, that's all the video on the uh, Fairbank Servo. Thanks for watching.